Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this pendant with all round wire. Last week's video was a similar design making a pair of earrings with square wire and half round wire. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright, so let's get started. So in my last video, I made a pair of earrings using a simple design. I used square wire and half round wire to bind my wires and gold stone cabochons. I don't have any more gold stone cabochons, so I'm going to use this carnelian. And instead of square and half round wire, I want to use just round wire and some weaving. Not everybody has square and half round wire, so I want to show you how I would make this same simple design using round wire. So this stone measures about 18 by 13. It's about two inches around. So this simple design, I'm not going to be making swirls or anything. So I'm just going to double that number to four. I'm going to measure out five inches for the bale wire, which will be the middle wire. You'll see what I mean in a second. I grab some 20 gauge round wire. It's looking a little kinky. So I'm just going to pull it out with some nylon jaw pliers. I'm going to grab a ruler, measure out four inches. Cut a couple lengths at four inches. And the third one, I'm gonna do five inches. That's gonna be my middle wire. And you wanna pick a stone that's not too fat or tall, just so three wires could accommodate it. If your stone's too fat, three wires might not be enough to secure it. All right, so I got my three wires. Next, I'm gonna weave them together using 28 gauge round wire. I have my longer wire in the center and just to help me hold on to these wires I'm going to use this clamp. It helps me out a lot and the link for that is down in the description if you're interested. All right so the weave comes up the back go around the bottom wire a couple times to secure it. Two. You're going to come up the back come out in between the second and third come all the way down again and go all the way up the back come around around the top and go around the second and third wires go up the back again and just go around the top wire once come up around go all the way down the front and wrap around the first wire and that's the full pattern and repeat. Go around the bottom two, come all the way up, go around the top two, come up around the top wire once, and come all the way down the front again, and around the bottom wire once. And compress that down. We don't need to go very far. We only need to go about a quarter inch. So just keep wrapping until you're satisfied with the length. more times around would be good. Alright, that should be enough. You can grab your stone and measure it against. Yeah, that's plenty. And just secure it a couple times around on that bottom wire. Take your clamp off and snip that wire as well. Make sure your weave stays compressed. Check to make sure it's in the middle. 
All right, now we need to round these wires off. I'll grab the Sharpie because it's pretty close to the size of my stone. And I round off that weave, make sure it stays compressed, but I kind of round it off around my Sharpie. Just like that. Make sure it fits your stone. Next, you're gonna take your front wires, they should be short, and kind of crisscross them in the front. This kind of gets them out of the way so you can weave your bale. Same with the back. Kind of crisscross them. Get them out of the way without bending them too weirdly. Oh, I took my stone out. One more thing. Kind of determine how far you want to go up. That looks good for your bale. Kind of pinch them together evenly and straighten them out. And then we need to weave them. Once again, I'm using the 28 gauge round. This weave I'm going to use, um, I think it's called Modified Sumac. So it's really easy and I like it for two wires because it's nice and uniform. So start it off a couple times around on your bottom wire. Go across the top and wrap around that top wire once. Go around the back and wrap around the bottom wire once. Come around the top wrap around the top wire, back, bottom, top, top wire, back, bottom wire. Now's a good time to compress it down and push it down to where you want your weave to begin. And just keep going. This is to make your bale. You want your bale to be a good size to accommodate chains, so you should be able to do about an inch. You don't need too long of wires to secure it to your frame, but you, you need at least some. I'll do like three quarter inch. That should be a, a good size bale. Just a couple more times around. That's good, I think. So I'm gonna secure this a couple times around bottom wire. Cut that off, cut the beginning wire off. Compress that down. Grab something round. If you don't have bale making pliers, you can grab a dowel of some sort, have your wires come through the center, give it a little push, and you're going to wrap your wires around the frame like that on either side.
Okay, so the bale's done. Come down here, make sure your weave stayed straight. Okay, grab your stone. Let's do the back first. Crisscross those wires evenly. Make sure your stone is all snug down in your setting. Bring the wires up. Make sure they're even, once again. Bring them up to where you'd want to wrap them on your frame. Cut about three or four millimeters. Out from where you're gonna wrap, and then wrap them around. And then when you wrap them, I wrap mine downward because the front wires are going to be wrapped upward. I kind of go back and forth, try to keep those even. Before I totally lock those down, I want to get the front ones in place. Make sure your wires aren't kinked and they're nice and curved. You want them to curve up to secure the stone and bring them up over the back wraps, which I haven't secured totally yet. I just want to make sure everything is even and straight. Now I'll snip it the same way I did the bottom ones. Three to four millimeters like that and then I'm going to bring them around the frame upward. But I'm not going to lock them in quite yet. Just want to make sure everybody is even. That looks pretty good to me. Let me start locking everybody down. Sorry about all the squeaking. I think I need to oil my pliers. So there we have it. All right, that's it for me, guys. Here's the pendant oxidized, buffed up, and I did tumble it for a little bit as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.